The Missing is one of the is the first production of New Pictures. New Pictures um, started a year ago, um, and when I first read this script, I I got to the end of it and I couldn't wait to read the next one. And I felt I had such a strong reaction to it, and I hoped other people would too. When we sent it to the BBC, they felt the same. And then a year and a half ago, we started the casting process. Um, the writers wrote this script with James Nesbitt in mind and we were really lucky that he came on board and then we started the production process. We chose to shoot in Belgium because the show is set in northern France so Belgium worked for us creatively. We'd shot there before, we'd done a big show there before but it also worked financially. Like uh, Willow, when I first read the script I was totally sold within a couple of pages. I'd spent the two previous years in New Zealand doing The Hobbit and I was looking for something a little bit more kind of um, meaty in terms of my character, a little bit more character driven. Um, and it was a character that I hadn't really seen or played before. I mean, the arc of it was was so appealing and so kind of layered and, and, and textured. You know, a man who in 2006 is living what one would imagine the dream life, uh, happily married, with a, 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 a devoted to his little boy, go on holiday. And uh, through a series of circumstances, let's go of his boy's hand and then he's gone. And to follow him over from 2006 to 2014, constantly switching behind the, between these two time uh, zones, was uh, it was a challenge to say the least in terms of being remaining in the moment the whole time because every day was a challenge because every day of course for my character and all the other characters are great challenge. So it was a, a privilege, it's what you do the job for, but it was um, not short of uh, difficulty at times. The fact that it takes place over two time frames is intrinsic to the story. The writers play games with the audience just as about you're about to find out something in one time period, they shut the door on you and you, you go into the next period. And so it's really essential for us when we started the process that the audience could enjoy that and not be confused by it. So from a production point of view, early on we took the decision to get one director to film all eight episodes and what that allowed us to do was two things. It allowed us to film the whole of one time period in one block and the whole of the other time period in another block and that allowed us to take choices with hair and makeup and things like that that actually made the filming process you know much smoother and allowed us to take more radical choices than we would have been able to if we would have shooting the whole thing together. It also though presented a challenge for the actors because they had to do all their work, their psychological work from one period in one go mm. and I don't know how you found that Jimmy. I think ultimately it was helpful, you know, I, I think it was definitely helpful that we did 2014 first. Um, it, it, it gave uh, Fran, uh, who play, I play opposite, who plays my wife Frances O'Connor, uh, gave us an opportunity to kind of really get to know each other so by the time we got to 2006 we could present the happy family at the beginning of the show. Um, from an acting point of view, again, it was it was easier to do the two to, to do them differently. I mean, you know, there were there are certain kind of uh, differences in the way I look, but um, also in 2014, I kind of made the decision that he would be so beaten by what had happened to him, he he, he was you know a lot more stooped, and and so you know it 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 was yes, clearly it was a challenge, but. Um, but amazing to be to given that opportunity to kind of like to, to follow a character over eight years, you know, to see what's happened to him, to see the changes that have happened, to see the ramifications of that, you know, pebble dropping in the water and all those ripples, you know. Although, you know, the story of Tony and Emily, this mother and father who lost their son, is always at the heart of this mm. story. The other thing that two time periods does, this is an event that ripples out into the lives of many characters and all the characters in this, there's a whole community of characters who all have their own stories between past and present. And one of the show, one of the questions the show asks when you when you watch episode one is, how did that person get from there to there? So it asks little questions that are slowly unpicked over the arc of the show as a whole. And that's exciting creatively. What what was enormously helpful about filming in, in Belgium, apart from the fact that there was a fantastic crew and there was a real sense of collaboration, you know, we had uh, English cast, French, Belgian cast, we had a French-speaking Belgian crew with a Flemish-speaking Belgian crew, but there was there was a kind of a collective and a, and a sense that we were making something together and the responsibility towards not only the story but in, in, indeed the characters. 
Um, what was helpful for me was that I was disconnected from my own family. I was, like Tony, uh, working in a strange country with a, a language that I wasn't that familiar with. It was a system I didn't really understand, like Tony. I lived in an apartment rather than a hotel. I sort of lived a pretty sheltered life while I was there. I had all Tony's, what he would have had, uh, had all his, uh, the, the police reports, all the newspaper cuttings kind of surrounded. So I was able to immerse myself in it uh, a lot easier. Also, it was a, a treat. You know, it's always lovely to work uh, abroad, and we were looked after so well. It's a great place to film. Um, I mean, I think you'll agree with that. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. And I would say also, even though the subject matter is emotionally painful, this is fundamentally a twisty, turny thriller. Yeah. It's entertaining, you know, so that, that emotional truth is always at the heart of it, but actually it's so hooky and twisty, turny absolutely. that you... You got to. You once you stick in for the ride, you got yeah. to stay with it. Well, that's that's. I think that's the key to it. I mean, people who have seen it, including age and family, friends, industry, uh, everyone that says we that. Pay. They, they, yes, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Everyone talks about. I need to know more. I need to find out more. And you know, it's um, that's what appeals to us. I think.